Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we dive into all things tech and open source. Today we're going to talk about one of the most beginner-friendly Linux distributions out there, Linux Mint. So, um, grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. Alright, so what is Linux Mint? Linux Mint is a Ubuntu LTS-based operating system that brings an out-of-the-box computing experience. It's designed to be the go-to Linux for new users, beginners, advanced users, and even casual users. Plus, many people use Linux Mint as a safe distro to recover a broken system. On August 27, 2006, Clément Lefebvre created Linux Mint, and today, millions of users around the world use it. The development effort is supported by a huge community and generous Linux Mint sponsors. Now, you might be wondering about Linux Mint's release schedule. Well, there isn't an official one. The Mint team follows a release when it's ready philosophy. However, recent trends show that they typically release one major version per year and three minor versions at approximately six-month intervals, and each major version gets five years of support. Every release of Linux Mint has a code name that starts with an increasing sequence of the English alphabet and ends with an A. These names are generally feminine, like Terra or Uliana. It's a fun little quirk that gives each version its own identity. Linux Mint provides ISO images for free download and installation. The default ISO image comes with all the necessary software you might need for work and play. This includes LibreOffice, a web browser, an email client, a firewall utility, backup and system restore software, and more. Plus, peripheral devices like printers, webcams, wireless devices, and Bluetooth speakers work out of the box. No need to hunt for drivers. Linux Mint comes in three primary desktop editions, Cinnamon, XFCE, and Mate. The Cinnamon edition is the flagship and features the stunning Cinnamon desktop environment. If you're not sure which one to choose, I'd recommend starting with the Cinnamon Edition. The XFCE and Mate Editions have their own respective desktops and are great choices if you prefer something different. But at the core, all three are similar, running Linux Mint packages. One of the standout features of Linux Mint is its own set of applications. The developers have created some fantastic software with the user base in mind. Here's a quick rundown of some native applications. In addition to these, Linux Mint comes preloaded with all sorts of necessary applications, like a web browser, firewall management, disk partition software, and LibreOffice. Basically, you don't need additional software for general use. Linux Mint is known for its flexibility and system requirements. It can run on older hardware without any problems. Here are the minimum system requirements. Linux Mint primarily supports 64-bit architecture from version 20. Unfortunately, no 32-bit support is available because its parent OS Ubuntu dropped 32-bit support from Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. However, if you need 32-bit support, you can opt for Linux Mint Debian Edition, LMDE, which is based on the Debian operating system. You can download Linux Mint from their official website. They provide all the additions as direct download ISO files and torrents. There are also mirrors available in many countries to help you download download from a nearby source. Check the links in the description for download details. So, to sum up, Linux Mint is a fantastic choice for beginners and advanced users alike. With its user-friendly interface, pre-installed software, and excellent community support, it's a great way to dive into the world of Linux. I hope this video helps you get started with Linux Mint. If you found this video helpful, um, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!